So I've been working with a lot of third year medical students as well as sub eyes, which are fourth year medical students. And I wanted to go over a few things that you can do if you're a medical student watching this to ensure that you get good evals and have an overall good experience on your clinical rotations. So the first thing is just to overall be a pleasant person to be around. Just bring a smile every day. Try to really be a positive person, contribute however you can, and just go in and try your absolute best. You don't have to be perfect. I don't expect any of my students to know everything. I really want them to just ask questions, be curious, try to help. And you don't have to do everything, but try to help on a few things. And I'll go over a couple of examples. And that just makes a world of a difference. So here are some things that you can do to really help out your resident. So first is in the morning, for example, I have usually about eight patients that I have to see in the morning. And maybe a med student, I'll give one, maybe two patients to go see. Now, you're going to have a lot more time to spend with that patient in the morning. So while I might go check in and spend five to 10 minutes max with that patient, unfortunately, you will be able to spend maybe 30 minutes. Not all patients will require this, but if you go and really spend time and get good history from the patient, you'll probably uncover things that maybe myself or even the attendings would have missed. And so that's a great way to be an asset to the team. Number two is after we do rounds, if you can write a note for your resident. So I have been having my med students write the HPI of that information they gathered in the morning. And then I could just look it over and make sure there's nothing that I would have said differently or would have changed. And then I could use that as part of my note. That makes my work in the afternoon a lot easier and has been super helpful. And I'm very grateful to the medical students that have been helping out with that. And so that's another great way to impress your resident to actually make it so that what you're doing is contributing to the medical care of the patient. And it definitely helps with the evals. Number three is calling families. A lot of times family members love to hear from the hospital, the doctors, the residents, and even the medical students. And so if you can give updates to the families on a daily basis, that's a great skill to start learning if you're comfortable and is very helpful because a lot of times I'll be calling consults and putting in orders and doing other things and you have more time to speak to the family. So that's a great way that you could be an addition to the team. And the last thing I would say is just overall knowing your patients is very important as a medical student, especially because you're only going to have one, maybe two patients. Really spend the time to know their history. Look at all the consult notes. Look if they've ever been in the hospital in the past. And this will really help because, for example, even on rounds, an attending might ask a question that's relevant to their history, and you might be able to answer it and definitely look good if you know the history. Maybe it was a med that they were once on but got discontinued for some reason, or maybe it was something that happened in a past hospitalization. Knowing the history of your patients well is very helpful as a med student is going to look good for you and overall help with patient care. So those are some ways to definitely impress your residents, look good, have a good overall experience. And to be honest, you should go in and just try to do your best, bring a positive energy. And if people are mean to you, that's on them, not you. You should go in and I would hope that your residents, the seniors, the attendings are all treating with you with respect. I know, unfortunately, that's not always the case. But if something like that happens, try not to take it personal because I've had my fair share of bad experiences. The best way I've been able to deal with it, at least me personally, is to let it roll off my back and just move forward and not take it personal because that's not how it should be on a teaching team. Everyone should be nice helping you out, not pimping you and grilling you if you don't know something. We're all there to learn, get better, and do good, most importantly, with patient care. So that's it for this video. If you've enjoyed it, please like, subscribe. It really means a lot. If you do, click that subscribe button. It takes literally two seconds. You're going to get some more awesome content like this. And comment below what you'd like me to make a video on next, and hopefully I'll get right to it.